The People's Liberation Army PLA, Rocket Force is both one of China's most important military organizations and, regrettably for scholars of Chinese security issues, one of its most opaque. The PLA Rocket Force commands China's conventional and nuclear land-based missiles. Some have even speculated that the organization could eventually control all legs of a future Chinese nuclear triad, including the long-range bombers and ballistic missile submarines, though a review of official documents suggests this is unlikely. The dual identity of the rocket force raises important questions about the future of China's missile units. Will the rocket force continue to prioritize its traditional mission of strategic nuclear deterrence or will it increasingly emphasize its conventional mission set? Analysts have also raised concerns that entanglement between these conventional and nuclear forces could create risks either that an otherwise conventional conflict could escalate to the nuclear level or that the lack of a firewall between the conventional and nuclear forces could lead China's nuclear missile forces assimilating practices from their conventional counterparts. Despite the importance of the rocket force, much about it remains unknown. As with much reporting on the PLA, information about the PLA rocket force is closely guarded. Chinese official media often refer to rocket force units only by their military unit cover designator, a unique five-digit number assigned to each military unit. More cryptically, news reports may identify rocket force units as nothing more than a certain missile base. Even the name of the rocket force's predecessor, the second artillery, was intended to hide its function and confuse foreign snoops. China's missile forces are organized under six missile bases, numbered sequentially from 51 to 56. Assigned to these missile bases are missile brigades, which operate the missiles. In addition, the rocket force is believed to also have a central warhead and storage handling facility known as Base 22. Although almost all of these bases appear to control both conventional and nuclear forces, they also appear to be oriented towards specific mission sets based on their location and armament. Base 52, which has most of its launch brigades garrisoned along the country's southeast coast opposite Taiwan, controls much of the rocket force's short-range conventionally armed ballistic missiles. Base 54 and Base 55, in the center of the country, command the country's ICBM forces. Base 51, Base 53, and Base 56, in the north, south, and west, respectively, command medium-range nuclear-armed missiles and appear to be assigned a regional nuclear deterrent mission. Though missile bases may generally be assigned different mission sets, conventional, strategic nuclear, regional nuclear, each missile base may also deploy both conventional and nuclear forces and the distinction between conventional and nuclear is not so clean at the base level. As noted by the U.S. Defense Department, Taiwan remains the PLA's main strategic direction and officials closely affiliated with the conventionally oriented Base 52 appear to enjoy special prominence, 